In NGRX version 8, we rolled out action creators and moved away from writing actions with enums and classes. Now let's take a look at a new feature that's been added to NGRX. We're going to take a look at some examples of how to write actions using good action hygiene and this new feature that makes writing actions even easier. First, let's look at writing actions using good action hygiene. Actions are written with a source and an event to describe a unique event that happened in the application. So to describe entering a movie page, we use the movies page and enter movies page as the source and the enter text as the event that happened. Now let's look at defining an action that has props associated with it. If we look at this example, we have the movie added action that uses the movies page source again. But in this one, we have the movie added event and we're using the props function to define an object that contains a single movie that was added. Next, we'll look at defining actions from an API, such as a movies API. In this example, we're looking at the movies loaded success action that uses the movies API as the source and movies loaded success as the event, along with the array of movies that are passed as props. Next up, we have the movies API with movie addict success and a single movie as the prop. And you can see we're using the same source for each one of these actions. Next up, we're defining a movie added failure action that takes props with an error object as a string instead of a movie being returned. Looking at the example, we can call this action and pass the object with the error in it with the message that was provided. You can also define actions with props using a callback function. In this action, movie added failures message, we're using the movies API as the source and movie added failure as the event, but this time we're using the error string callback and using that to create the action that's returned that will return the action type and the error message. And we can just call that function directly instead of having to wrap it within, within an object. In order to group these actions together, we usually have to create barrels from those actions. So we import all the actions from a particular file. So importing the movies page actions and importing the movies API actions from those particular files and re-exporting them. So you have to do this manually today. Now let's take a look at the create action group function in NGRX that allows you to create these actions using less code. The new create action group function is available through the NGRX store package. Now we can use this to create groups of actions in a single actions file instead of separating them by their specific responsibility. So first we'll create a set of actions for the movies page. We can call these movies page actions like before, but we'll use the create action group function. We'll provide a source for the movies page. That's the same source that we used before for each individual action and then the events that will define a dictionary of action types and the props or what is needed by that particular action. First, we'll use the enter action for the movies page actions and it doesn't have any props. So we'll use the empty props function that's provided by NGRX store also, which just means that this particular action that's generated doesn't take any additional properties. Next, we'll add the movie added action and we'll use the props function as before with the movie that's defined in an object as additional metadata for this action. Now you can see that we can call the particular action the same way we did before by just calling the enter function with no props. And the movie added action is just called as a function also providing the particular movie in an object itself. Next, we'll create the movies API actions using the movies API as the source. And we'll follow the same pattern as before. For the movies loaded success, we'll define the, the event that's just the same as movies loaded success and use the particular, use the props function here that defines an array of movies. Next, we'll have the movie addict success action that just takes props with a single movie inside an object. As before, we have the movie failure added failure action where we're providing props inside of an object with the error being provided as a string. 
As I mentioned before, we have the movie added failure message action, which can use the same callback function that we defined for action and action before that returns an error in an object that can be used for the props. If we look at the movie added failure, you can see that we can just call that function passing the error object with the message that's provided there. In the movie added failure message, we can pass the error message directly to the action creator function. So we're using the same actions as before, just shortening the amount of code that you have to write for a group of related actions. Now we can go back to our index file and replace the barrel imports and exports with just a single export of the movies page actions and movies API actions. And that's a walkthrough of actions in NGRX along with the new create action group function that landed in NGRX 13.2. We're always looking at better ways to help you write applications using NGRX libraries. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as that really helps me out. And with that one, I'll see you in the next video.